Imagine a time when Earth looked vastly different with massive glaciers covering large parts of the Northern Hemisphere. During this ice age, a passage emerged connecting Asia and North America, known as the Bering Land Bridge or Beringia. This ancient land bridge holds the key to understanding the early history of human migration to the Americas. The Bering Land Bridge formed during the last glacial maximum, when vast ice sheets locked up Earth's water, causing sea levels to plummet. This drop exposed a vast plain of tundra and steppe, connecting Siberia to Alaska. Despite the harsh climate, this land supported a variety of life, including mammoths and bison. Geological evidence confirms the presence of this landmass during that time. During the last glacial maximum, Earth's climate was significantly colder, with vast ice sheets locking up enormous volumes of water. This caused global sea levels to drop, exposing land that had been submerged for centuries. The Bering Land Bridge, a vast expanse of tundra and steppe, connected Siberia to Alaska. This land bridge had profound implications for the history of life on Earth, including human migration. The Bering Land Bridge was teeming with life despite its harsh climate. Imagine vast grasslands dotted with hardy shrubs and stunted trees. Large herbivores like woolly mammoths, bison and horses roamed these plains. Predators like dire wolves and saber-toothed cats stalked these lands. Beringia was a dynamic ecosystem, a crucial stepping stone for the movement of species between continents. The existence of the Bering Land Bridge is supported by geological and fossil evidence. Sediment cores from the Bering Sea floor reveal layers deposited in a terrestrial environment. Fossils of mammoths and other animals found on both sides of the Bering Strait suggest a shared history. Genetic studies reveal links between indigenous peoples of Siberia and Native Americans pointing to migration across the Bering Land Bridge. The Bering Land Bridge is the most likely route for the first Americans. These early pioneers were intrepid explorers navigating a harsh landscape in search of food, water, and shelter. Their arrival in the Americas is estimated to have occurred between 15,000 and 30,000 years ago. These migrations were not isolated events but unfolded over millennia, contributing to the diversity of the Americas. Archaeologists search for clues to early human migration in Siberia and Alaska. Stone tools and ancient campsites provide insights into the lives of these early migrants. Artifacts like spear points and scrapers reveal their resourcefulness and adaptation. By analyzing the distribution of artifacts, archaeologists trace the pathways of these ancient travelers. DNA studies offer compelling evidence for the Bering Land Bridge theory. Genetic similarities between indigenous populations in Siberia and the Americas suggest a shared ancestry. The ancestors of Native Americans diverged from their Siberian counterparts between 20,000 and 30,000 years ago. Genetic markers unique to indigenous populations in the Americas support the theory of a single founding population from Asia. The Beringian standstill hypothesis suggests early migrants lived in Beringia for thousands of years, isolated by ice sheets. They adapted to the unique challenges of life in Beringia, developing distinct cultures and traditions. This period of isolation shaped the genetic and cultural diversity of Native American populations. The hypothesis offers an explanation for the genetic and cultural diversity observed among indigenous populations in the Americas. The Bering Land Bridge was a bustling highway for animals, facilitating an exchange of fauna between Asia and North America. Mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, and other species crossed the plains, influencing ecosystems on both continents. Birds, insects, and even fish used the land bridge, expanding their ranges with the glacial cycles. This intercontinental exchange of animals had a profound impact on the ecosystems of both continents.
Megafauna like mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses utilized the Bering Land Bridge. These massive herbivores thrived on the grasslands and tundra, shaping the environments they inhabited. Their grazing habits influenced plant diversity, and their movements shaped the landscape. The impact of these megafauna was profound, influencing the distribution of plant communities and other animal species. The migration of herbivores across the Bering Land Bridge was inextricably linked to the availability of food. These animals, some weighing several tons, required vast quantities of vegetation to sustain their massive bodies, and their movements were often dictated by the ebb and flow of plant life across the landscape. As glaciers advanced and retreated, they reshaped the Beringian environment, creating a mosaic of habitats that supported a diverse array of plant communities. Mammoths, with their specialized molars adapted for grinding tough vegetation, thrived on the grasses and sedges that dominated the open grasslands. These grasslands, maintained by a combination of grazing pressure and natural wildfires, provided a rich source of food for these massive herbivores. Woolly rhinoceroses with their broader muzzles browsed on a wider variety of plants, including shrubs, willows, and even tree bark. Caribou, adapted to colder climates, migrated across Beringia, following the receding ice sheets and taking advantage of the newly exposed vegetation. These animals, with their ability to digest lichens and other plants that thrive in harsh conditions, played a crucial role in the Beringian ecosystem, their grazing habits influencing plant succession and nutrient cycling. The movements of these herbivores, driven by their constant search for sustenance, shaped the Beringian landscape, influencing plant diversity, soil fertility, and the distribution of other animal species. While herbivores formed the foundation of the Beringian ecosystem, predators lurked on the periphery, their survival intricately linked to the abundance of their prey. These carnivores, equipped with sharp teeth, powerful jaws, and an instinct honed by millennia of evolution, played a crucial role in regulating prey populations and maintaining the delicate balance of this ancient ecosystem. Among the most formidable predators to stalk the plains of Beringia was the dire wolf, a close relative of the gray wolf, but larger and more powerfully built. These pack hunters, with their bone-crushing jaws, preyed on large herbivores, including horses, bison, and even young mammoths. Their presence, while a constant threat to prey animals, was essential for preventing overgrazing and maintaining the health of herbivore populations. Saber-toothed cats with their elongated fangs and muscular builds were another apex predator that roamed Beringia. These ambush hunters, unlike their modern-day feline counterparts, relied on stealth and powerful forelimbs to bring down their prey which likely included horses, camels, and other large mammals. Their presence added another layer of complexity to the Beringian food web, influencing the behavior and distribution of both prey and other predators. The dynamics between predators and prey on the Bering Land Bridge were a testament to the power of natural selection, shaping the evolution of both hunter and hunted and driving the endless dance of life and death that played out across this ancient landscape. The arrival of humans and a diverse array of animal species across the Bering Land Bridge set in motion a wave of ecological transformation across the North American continent. Imagine a landscape on the cusp of change where ecosystems that had evolved in relative isolation for millennia were suddenly confronted with a wave of new arrivals, each species vying for resources and carving out its niche in this new environment. The arrival of humans in particular marked a turning point in the ecological history of North America. As skilled hunters and adept resource managers, humans quickly ascended to the top of the food chain, their presence sending ripples through the established order. The introduction of new grazing patterns, as herds of bison, mammoths, and other herbivores spread across the continent, had a profound impact on plant communities. Grasslands expanded at the expense of forests, as these large herbivores suppress tree growth through grazing and trampling. The composition of plant species shifted as well, as some plants proved more resilient to grazing pressure than others. These changes in vegetation, in turn, influenced the distribution and abundance of other animal species, 
from insects to small mammals to birds. The introduction of new predators such as the dire wolf and the saber-toothed cat further altered the ecological balance. These apex predators with their specialized hunting strategies and powerful builds placed new selective pressures on prey animals, driving the evolution of anti-predator adaptations and influencing the dynamics of predator-prey relationships. The Bering Land Bridge, once a conduit for life, had become a catalyst for ecological change, setting in motion a chain reaction that would reshape the face of North America. The arrival of new species can have unintended consequences for existing ecosystems. Some newcomers become invasive, outcompeting native species and disrupting ecosystems. The brown rat's introduction to North America shows the disruptive potential of invasive species. Brown rats outcompeted native rodents and spread diseases. Human arrival introduced a new dynamic to ecosystems. Early Americans shaped the environment through hunting, gathering and fire use. These practices had growing impacts over time. Fire use managed landscapes but had mixed effects. Controlled burns promoted plant growth and open habitats. Uncontrolled fires led to habitat loss and soil erosion. The late Pleistocene epoch, the period during and after the last glacial maximum, witnessed a wave of megafauna extinctions across the globe and North America was no exception. Many of the iconic giants that had roamed the continent for millennia, including mammoths, mastodons, saber-toothed cats, and giant sloths, vanished from the face of the Earth. While the exact causes of these extinctions are still debated among scientists, a confluence of factors including climate change, human hunting pressure, and habitat loss likely played a role. The warming climate at the end of the last ice age led to significant environmental changes including shifts in vegetation patterns, the melting of glaciers, and rising sea levels. These changes likely stressed megafauna populations, which were adapted to colder, drier conditions. As their habitats shrank and their food sources dwindled, these animals became more vulnerable to other threats. The arrival of humans, skilled hunters with advanced weaponry, and a growing need for resources coincided with this period of environmental upheaval. While the extent to which human hunting contributed to megafauna extinctions is still debated, it's likely that the combination of human pressure and environmental stress proved too much for these already vulnerable animals to overcome. The loss of these megafauna had cascading effects on North American ecosystems, altering plant communities, predator-prey relationships, and nutrient cycling. The legacy of the Bering Land Bridge on North American ecosystems is profound and enduring. The arrival of humans and the accompanying wave of animal migrations reshaped the continent's landscapes, altered the trajectory of its ecological communities, and set in motion a chain of events that continues to influence biodiversity patterns today. The extinction of the megafauna, while a tragic loss, created opportunities for other species to thrive and diversify, leading to the assemblage of plant and animal communities that characterize North America today. The introduction of new species, both intentional and accidental, through human activities continues to shape North American ecosystems. Some of these introductions have had beneficial effects, increasing biodiversity and enhancing ecosystem services. Others, however, have had detrimental consequences leading to the decline of native species, the spread of diseases, and the alteration of ecological processes. Understanding the ecological legacy of the Bering Land Bridge is essential for informing conservation efforts and managing the impacts of human activities on North American ecosystems. By studying the past, we can gain insights into the resilience of natural systems, the interconnectedness of life on Earth, and the importance of responsible stewardship of our planet's biodiversity. The Bering Land Bridge, once a bridge between continents, now serves as a bridge between the past and the present, reminding us of the enduring power of nature and the profound impact of our species on the world around us. The Bering Land Bridge stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. This temporary landmass, submerged for millennia beneath the frigid waters of the Bering Strait, played a crucial role in the history of our species and the distribution of life across two continents. 
It was a pathway for the first Americans, their footsteps echoing across the tundra and steppe. The Bering Land Bridge wasn't merely a route for human migration, it was a bustling corridor for a menagerie of animals. This grand exchange of fauna left an indelible mark on the ecosystems of both continents. The legacy of the Bering Land Bridge is multifaceted and profound. It speaks to the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the enduring power of migration. While the Bering Land Bridge vanished beneath the waves thousands of years ago, its echoes reverberate through the landscapes, cultures, and genetic makeup of the Americas. The descendants of those early migrants now populate the Americas, their languages, traditions, and genetic heritage bearing witness to their ancestral journey. The echoes of Beringia can be heard in the stories passed down through generations, tales of ancient journeys, encounters with now extinct creatures, and profound connections to the land and its history. The scientific study of the Bering Land Bridge continues to unveil new insights. As scientists delve deeper, they uncover clues about migrations, interactions between species and environmental forces. The Bering Land Bridge serves as a reminder of our planet's dynamism and the intricate web of life that connects us all. It is a story of adaptation, resilience, and the enduring power of life to find a way. As we face a changing climate, the lessons of the Bering Land Bridge are more relevant than ever.